Welcome to today's video, where we'll dive into the inspiring words of Jack Ma, the visionary founder of Alibaba. In this speech, Jack Ma shares his unique insights on life, success, and the work habits that have shaped his incredible journey. Stay tuned to learn how his philosophy can inspire you to overcome challenges and thrive in both your personal and professional life. If, when you are 20 to 30 years old, you should follow a good boss, join a good company to learn how to do things properly. When you're 30 to 40 years old, if you want to do something yourself, just do it. You still can't afford to lose, to fail. But when you're 40 to 50 years old, my suggestion is that you should do things that you are good at, right? And not do things that, oh, that's very interesting, I want to try something new. It's a bit dangerous more. When you're 50 to 60 years old, spending time training and developing young people, the next generation. When you're over 60 years old, better stay with your grandchildren. <laughs> but this is normally general like that. Not everybody will like but most of the people will like that. So 30 years old, we people next to 30 years are the luckiest period. We have a lot of challenges, a lot of things are happening, and with our knowledge, with our physical power, it's time you need to change. You have to think, we all, if you want to be successful tomorrow, it's impossible. If you want to be successful a year later, it's impossible. But if you want to win 10 years later, you have chance. Learn from the mistakes, the other people. No matter how smart you are, you will encounter these mistakes. You learn from mistakes not because you will be able to avoid mistakes. You will be able to, when these mistakes come, this suffer comes, you know how to deal with it. It's your nature instinct. There must be, have something that you, different. Second is you, you need a training. You should be trained through all the tough experience, but still positive. I found out some great leaders in the world, they are always positive. They never complain others, and never complain. And uh, they, they look at the things in a different view, like normal people. So I think people in my company, they at the beginning they don't like me because I'll always think about 10 years, five years. And then after we're working together for three or five years, they find, hmm, you are right. Then we got the credit rating. And as a CEO, one of the jobs, when everybody's happy, you have to see the unhappy things. When everybody's unhappy, you have to see the happy things. I'm lucky that I have 18 co-founders, <laughs> and most of them my students. When we, in my apartment, I told them my dream, my mission, and we videotape. Funny thing is that when Alibaba launched the, for the first day, I said, let's videotape everything every important meetings that we join together. I, the purpose is that someday, if we fail, we give the videos to the people to research why we fail. If we succeed, give the videos to the other people. So we have a, like, almost a whole house of videotapes. So the first videotape I say, I speak for two hours and those guys look at me, <laughs> okay, so that's what you want to do? I say, yeah, this is what I want to do. Um, we, I was the first, I know nothing about technology. I know nothing about management. I know nothing about, but the only thing is that you don't have to know a lot of things. You have to find the people who are smart you are. My first way is always find people who knowledge on computer, smart than I am. Accounting, smart than For so many years, I always try to find the people who are smart than I am. And when you find so many smart people, my job is to make sure the smart people can work it together. And then if smart people can work it together, it's easier. The vision they will believe. Because if stupid people can work it together easily, smart people can never work together. <laughs> but stupid people work it together easily, they don't believe the vision. The people who believe the vision, but they don't work together. So very important is finding smart people 
And my job is two things, making sure they work together. So the culture is important. Long term, you should be ideal with great, strong vision leader, but you should also have to survive today. If you don't survive today, you're gone. So <coughs> the best way to promote your company is not the you, it's not me as the CEO. The best way is your product, your services, your employees. The best, impro- best product of your company is your employee. So I spent a lot of time, early days, for the first 2,000 employees of Alibaba, I speak everybody for, for one or two hours when they're joining. I said, I will never promise you will be rich. I never promise you will be promoted. But I promise you will suffer. <laughs> I promise you will have a terrible life. And, right? And all, the, all the terrible things I promise when join this company. Right? But good things. If you promise good things, you are misleading them. Because I cannot promise myself. We, we know this is the future, but we, not, we are not sure that we will be there. And everything the company should do is making sure the good environment to train him to be more positive. And everything we do, this is a teacher. And teacher does not mean I know better than you are. Everything I know better than you are because I learn from others. So a teacher should learn all the time. A teacher should share all the time. A teacher should always expect the other people better than you are. And by the way, education, it's a good, big challenge now. If we do not change the way we teach, 30 years later, we'll be in trouble. Because the way we teach, the, the thing we talk, teach our kids, are the things in the past 200 years, is knowledge-based. And we cannot teach our kids to compete with machine who is smarter. We have to teach something unique. That is, machine can never catch up with us. In this way, 30 years later, our kids have the chance. Independent thinking, teamwork, care for others. These are the soft part. The knowledge may not teach you that. So that's why I think we should teach our kids on sports, entertain, uh, uh, the, the music, painting, art. So making sure humans should be different from everything we teach should be different from machine. If the machine can do better, you have to think about it. A good leader should know how, but not by only money. Most of people incentivized or mobilized not because you give them a lot of money. You give them respect, trust, appreciation and correct heartful advice thanks for watching if you found this video helpful please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more insights into the world of marketing we'll be back soon with more strategies tips and trends to help you elevate your brand don't forget to turn on notifications so you never miss an update See you next time and keep striving for success in your marketing journey.